one very, very important thing to say. And that is, we are a band that stands up here in the name of Jesus Christ. I don't say that, but please be here. Especially at the end. We're at the first time. self-destructive behavior. I struggle more than you know with just like self-worth issues and you know thinking I'm just no good at anything and for those you know 25 to 45 minutes it's not about me and I'm just free of all that junk that I think about myself. Mr. Mantis in the forest here When you pray, will you pray for me? The thing I love about performing is you go out there and music is powerful and no matter what kind of band you are, if you're in the audience and you're not a Christian, well you are, no matter what, the music is going to be something powerful. When you pray, will you pray for me? Well, I can find a reason to say. We started dating this girl, you know, for the first, like, you know, three months, things were great, and then we started Things started going bad, we started doing things that were unedifying in our relationship. I was left really just broken. Undefined. So take it back to adolescence when all of life's lessons led me to I remember one night I was just at the at the, the rock bottom area of this depression I'd been in after my relationship failed. I just remember looking up at the sky and being like, look, you know. I don't have respect for myself. I don't love myself and I don't think anyone loves me. You know, and I'm in pain and I want it to go away. I remember telling God, you know, if you care, if you're up there, if you're real, if this is not just something I've been believing falsely for these years, then, you know, show me because if you don't, that's it, I'm gonna take my own life. You can stand in front of someone and talk to your blue in the face and tell them like, oh, this is what I believe, this is who I am. But music is very personal. It can it can communicate to someone on a very different level than just talking. A lot of these kids in the scene feel like there's no hope for them and that, you know, they would never step foot in that church. So to go out there and just share, that there's this other option for them. There's another option. You don't have to feel this way. You don't need to be depressed. You don't need to be suicidal. When we come off stage, and if there's at least one kid in any show, like if we play a, like a week, and one kid out of that whole week comes up to me and says, you know, your music helped me, and your music inspired me, or your music gave me hope. And that's all. It's all worth it. it. That's all. That's all it's about. If you feel like there is no hope for you, just remember that God loved you enough to send His only Son to die for you. For you, not just like not select people. For you, and just keep that in your heart, and keep knowing that no matter what, you can be healed, you can have hope, and that you're not alone. That's the hope we have in this world.